stressed out at Christmas time was showing my wife. <laughs> she just looked at me as in like, what have you bought? And I was just like, it's a tiger tank. It's awesome. <laughs> what are you talking about? And listen, it makes sound effects. <laughs> Yes. Tell me that does not put a smile on your face. Ah, uh, awesome. Literally, big kid movement. Amazing. I am super excited to unbox this one. I bought myself a tank. So I got myself this for Christmas. It's actually February now and I still haven't used it because I've been so busy doing other stuff. But I got myself a Henglong 1 16th scale Tiger tank. So it's the Tiger 1. Uh, Tiger 1 and the King Tiger are like my favourite tanks. Uh, so when I saw this and I was like, ah, oh, do you know what, I'm going to treat myself for Christmas, let's get myself a tank. So it is absolutely awesome. Let's get it out of the box, let's take a look at it, and uh, let's see how cool this thing is. So it comes in this polystyrene box, so you've got all your bits and pieces which we'll take a look at here at the moment, all nicely packaged. And if we lift that off, and then you've got the actual tank itself. So. You get obviously your awesome tank, which is just absolutely huge. Look at that, that is just so cool. It's just a beast. So you get your tank, you get your transmitter, you get your box of accessory parts, you get your oil, because obviously it makes smoke as well, which I'll show you in a minute. You get your Li-Ion, uh, it's an 1800 uh, milliamp hour uh, Li-Ion battery. A box of BBs. You get your little infrared parts because you can actually battle with them. You could actually have like multiple tanks like battling each other. You plug the infrared receiver in, so obviously then if you are battling, you know you can uh, you can have proper little war games. And you get your instruction manual. I just think this thing looks absolutely awesome. And it's just an absolute beast. Oh, and also while we're unboxing this, check out my hoodie. Tiger One. Tiger One. How cool is that? I picked that up the other day from Bobbington um, Tank Museum. That was awesome. Actually saw a real Tiger One in person. One Tiger 131 actually, which was really, really cool. But yeah, anyway, I absolutely love this thing. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Let's chuck the battery in it. Let's go through some of what it does and uh, we'll check it out. So to fit your battery, you've basically got this section here. You just basically pull this back and it should like click. And then you can just pop the battery tray open like that and then obviously you can just plug your battery in so let's get our battery in there okay uh, battery is in and then for your radio so you do actually need quite a lot of double-a batteries so you need six double a's so let's get those in there and then let's turn it on so your switch to turn it on is just tucked down here so then what you're going to do is you're going to push this to turn it on and then once you've turned it on you're going to push this one here and then wait for this. <laughs> How awesome is that? How cool is that? That is just so awesome. And if we press, if we press this button here, we got smoke. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, that is just awesome. turn with this one and then this is your turret so you've got turret down turret up and then turn it on. <laughs> so cool I'm like literally a big kid right now this is amazing oh dude this is so cool then you've also got a machine gun okay and you might be able to see her with a little red light down there and then if you hold that and then push this one, you'll get the turret. Ready? <laughs> you get the little recoil and everything. Oh, it's just so cool. It's so cool. So you can adjust your volume up and down. You've got lots of different settings that you can go through and everything. Obviously, you can adjust your um, trim and everything here as well. But oh, 
I just think it's just so awesome. Look at it. It's just absolutely epic. I love it. So the turret can rotate 320 degrees. So pretty much all the way around. This is so cool. And then it's all peaceful and quiet again. How cool is that? I mean, I, I know I might be a big kid right now, but that is like the best thing ever. Absolutely love it. <laughs> I really like the detail on it and everything as well. You know, it's got really nice detail on it. You know, you've got all the little, uh, you know, vents and everything on there. You've got, you know, your top hatches and everything, uh, which do actually open. So if you open that one, you can plug in your IR receiver in there, okay? Obviously this one here opens up because that's where you put your driver in, okay? That one there is for your power switch. That's where you turn it on and off. So obviously it's got, you know, proper working suspension and everything as well. Now, I just went for the basic version, uh, which is like all plastic tracks and, and, and plastic gears, plastic gearbox. I have heard a lot of people say that, you know, it may not, last forever with a gearbox um but you can get metal upgrade versions and you can get like metal tracks metal gears and all that kind of stuff but for now i just went for the um the base model because i just thought you know i just wanted to see what it was like and uh just have a play with it but i just think it looks absolutely awesome i absolute beast absolutely love it i found that the the responsiveness of the controls is really nice as well so if we turn it back on That never gets old. Like, it never gets old. So, and yeah, if we just give it a tiny bit of throttle. See, you can crawl really slowly. Yeah, that's really nice. And the turning as well. You can turn slow. Or you can turn fast. <laughs> I love that recall. Now, obviously, if you did have it loaded with BBs, obviously your BB would shoot out your turret. Um, I'm not really interested in firing the BBs, and I'm not really going to do the IR, um, you know, war games or anything like that. At least not for now. Maybe if I go to some events or something, it might be quite cool. But I just basically want to play with a tank and just be a big kid because I just think it's awesome. I'm also really looking forward. I'm also really looking forward to like, you know, trying to add some weathering and some details to it, make it look like authentic. Cause I think, you know, a lot of people turn these into static models, um, you know, because they are a nice detailed tank and a really nice size. Um, you know, I see a lot of people do really nice stuff with them and, and, and turn them into detailed models. So I want to, you know, do some like weathering on it, uh, maybe get some camouflage on there. Uh, undecided if we get the driver in there, but I might get the driver, maybe another figure or something on there. Uh, and then I might have a go at doing some like, um, you know, um, ricochets and, and stuff like that, you know, just some some details on it um, just to make it look even cooler than it already is. But I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely awesome. I'm so happy with it. I'm so glad I bought it. Let's get outside. Let's take it for a run. Let's see what it's like. We are out with the Tiger Tank. We're going to take it for its first run outside, get these tracks a bit muddy, see what it's like. Uh, we might try some of our usual obstacles. Uh, I'm not convinced it's actually going to do any of them, but we might just try them for a laugh as long as we don't break anything. But yeah, let's just take this thing for a little run and just see what it's like.
seems to plow over everything, which is pretty cool. Obviously, I've just got the plastic version, you know, plastic tracks, plastic uh, gears and everything like that, but you know, it's doing all right so far. What I do love is hearing it along this floor now, which you'll listen to in a second. It reminds me of the sound of a real tank, that sound of the tracks kind of moving over the ground. So uh, let's check that out, because that just sounds awesome. get over those logs. I'm hoping it doesn't rip my tracks to pieces on the first try, but let's give it a little whirl and just see if we can get over those tracks. Obviously, it's a tiger tank. It should be able to just plow right over them, but let's see what the hang along does. coming towards us. Nice and easy. Awesome. That's really cool. I'm quite impressed with that, to be fair. That's, uh, that's not bad at all. In terms of your speed, you know, it can get quite decent speed on it. So let's just have a little crawl along and then we'll go full throttle and we'll see what it's like. turning in this sand. to see what it's like on a bit of cycling going up the bank. I know I probably shouldn't do this because I'm probably going to break my brand new awesome toy but you know for science sake we've got to do it really haven't we. So let's just see what it's like weighted wise moving along this bank which is quite steep and then if we can get up there. Now I'm guessing it's probably not going to and if I try too hard, I'm probably going to strip the gears to pieces. So I'm not going to try too hard, but we've got to give it a little try, haven't we? So let's see if the old Tiger one can crawl. Just 
slipping in the sand out of the LZ. You know, that's, that's quite an ask, to be honest, for it to get up there, but I thought it was worth a try. Didn't do it, but it looked cool having a go, didn't it? Should hopefully be able to make it up a bank a bit more like this. This is just a bit of a shallower bank. Let's try that. That is awesome. That is everything I wanted it to be, basically. I just think it's just so cool. It looks even better now it's got a bit of dirt and sand on the tracks, doesn't it? I can't wait to do some like weathering and some details on this, make it look a bit more like, you know, scale realistic and stuff. I just think it looks awesome. Absolutely love it. I love the sound effects. I love the way it drives. I love the look. I've always wanted a tank and I just think, yes, I've got a tank. <laughs> it's just so cool. Uh... You know, it. you can hear it with the plastic gears, you can hear them struggling a little bit sometimes, you know, when you're moving on like, you know, twigs and stuff that's kind of snagging up the tracks. So, you know, if you're gonna drive it like really hard on terrain then you probably would want the metal track version, which you can buy metal versions for not too much more money where they already come with the tracks and everything. So you don't have to faff around with doing them all yourself. Um, but obviously that was my first one. I thought I'll just get the cheaper entry level one and just see what it's like. With all the little scale accessories, all of those little scale accessories on there are what come in the box. So all those little details, spade and the shovel and the boxes and everything, they all come with it in that accessories box. Your smoke launchers and your stickers. Yeah, I think it's absolutely awesome. I'm well chuffed I bought it. I can't wait to use it some more and just have fun with it. Um, I think it looks fantastic. If you're thinking about getting one, you love RC tanks, then I'd say go for it. I, the smile factor is worth the money. I paid £142 for this, which is probably like, what, $150, something like that. Uh, and to be honest, it's worth the smile on my face. It's absolutely awesome. So I absolutely love it. I hope you found the video entertaining. Uh, drop me a comment if you've got any questions. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.